Most of us use gas for cooking, heating or both. But with gas prices at record levels and set to increase even further, if your gas appliances are leaking, you could be literally throwing money away. Or even worse, potentially putting the lives of your family in danger. If you want the reassurance that you haven't got a gas leak, you might want to consider a gas leak detector like this. This is the CC Combustible Gas Detector. And in this video, we're going to look at its main features and we're going to look at how good it is at detecting a wide range of combustible gases, including natural gas, propane and gasoline, or petrol as we call it in the UK. As you can see, the manufacturers claim that it can sense all these gases and more. When you first open up the gas detector box, you'll find that everything's stored neatly in this storage pouch. And when you open the pouch up, inside you'll find the instruction manual, three AAA batteries, a small screwdriver so you can remove the back of the detector so you can fit the batteries. And inside this white plastic bag you'll find the gas detector itself. The electronics and display are housed in a robust plastic case. And attached to this is the gas sensor which is mounted on the end of an 11 inch or 28 centimetre flexible probe. As you'll see later this is really useful for getting into tight areas where access is difficult. This gas detector contains a temperature sensor. You can switch between the Celsius scale or Fahrenheit scale. When measuring gas concentration, you've got two options. You can either have it in parts per million or percentage of the lower explosive limit. You can zero the reading by pressing this button. It takes five seconds. And the APO button at the bottom left allows you to toggle on or off the automatic power off. If it's on, it will switch off the device after 10 minutes. The actual gas sensor itself is located underneath this screw on cover. You can see holes in the top and the side to allow gas to enter from any angle. And if I take it off, you'll see the sensor itself. There we go. The manufacturers claim this sensor will detect combustible gases in less than two seconds. So I'm going to start by testing for propane. I use it for brewing, but other people use it in caravans, mobile homes, it's used a lot for barbecues. In some countries it's used for domestic cooking and we can see here that the regulator is not leaking at all we're getting nothing on that display so let's test it by cracking open the burner and you can see it picks it up very very quickly you've got a clear audible and visual alarm there this is lighter fluid or butane The sensor's detecting the butane, and if I move it closer to the source, the alarm goes off. Let's just move that away, and you'll see that the, there you go, the reading starts to decrease as the concentration in the air decreases. And the alarm stops sounding at about 10,000 ppm. This is gasoline or petrol from a mower. You can see, depending on where I place the sensor, the reading goes up or down accordingly. The sensor even picks up alcohol fumes if you get close enough. So this is uh, white rum. Let's see, we're getting about 8,000 parts per million there at the neck of the bottle. Which is all very impressive, but most people are going to want to use this for testing gas appliances like the cooker, the boiler, and the gas meter. Gas meters are often in inaccessible places, so this one's boxed in and right down at floor level. But with the flexible probe, you can get right in there and test all around the meter. And thankfully, this one's not leaking. But as you can see here, it does detect natural gas well. If you work with combustible gases, or if you want the reassurance of knowing that your gas appliances are not leaking, then a gas sensor like this is a worthwhile investment. They're not particularly expensive. They're available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. This CC combustible gas detector was supplied by the manufacturers for review, but this review is totally independent. If something's rubbish, I'll tell you it is. This isn't. It works well. 
So I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. Any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.